Hello and welcome to part two of how to make mead or mead made easy, whatever I called it last time. This is going to be a really, really, really short video because it's literally decanting from one bottle to another. So I'll let you uh, get over the fact that you're looking at a short Tyson Fury with the world's biggest pluke on the side of his head. And I'll bring you in and show you what kit we need. Let's make some booze! So, you need your fermented mead, a sterilised siphon, any pipe or tube will do. You can either go to a pet shop and get one out of there. I got that from, uh, where was it, the range for a couple of quid. A tasting glass and a sterilised bottle to decant into. First things first, whip the balloon off. Oh, as if the husband's coming home. That has been sterilised with, I've actually got some proper steriliser, but Milton tablets that you can get from any shop um, for sterilising baby bottles will do. As has the pipe. Quite simply, stick your tube in so it doesn't quite reach the bottom where all the sediment is. Give her a quick suck. And lower it in the bowl. And as you can see, that is now dribbling in. I always make sure that the bottle is lower than um, the bottom of the bottle containing the mead. Just makes it flow a bit quicker. What I will do, is give myself a little taster. What this will do is let you know if you need to add more sugars, flavors, or whatever. That is unbelievably sweet. But good. So I'm gonna let that drain. As you can see, it's a bit cloudy now. I'll leave it in this bottle for another week or so, and then decant it into other bottles. And yeah, that is basically it. As you can see, all that's going down. Rinse that bottle out, give it a good old clean. Dump mix, we've got loads of them. Put the lid on that, leave it for another couple of weeks, then decant into other bottles. Hopefully, it should get a lot less cloudy. Um, that is unbelievably sweet. I'll definitely put too much honey in that. But when I let it settle, yeah. It's that simple. Really is that simple. Have a look at my other vid on how to make the stuff up there or there, wherever it is, and crack on. It's always a really short vid. Not really a lot to say. Right, well, as that video was so bleeding short, a um, couple of other things I've recently done. The maple syrup one I made, which was a maple and caramel um, ice cream topping thing, turned out absolutely bang on. I mean, it is lovely. I've still got to let it settle for a couple more weeks. Um, or a week or whatever, but I tasted it. Best one I've made yet. I've also got this on the go at the moment, which is a normal mead. I'm now adding my secondary um, flavoring. So that's now full of cinnamon and orange. See how it turns out. Um, I'll probably update you on one of my other videos or make a final video when I'm decanting into bottle bottles, just so you can see how it ends up. But that ain't gonna be a long video either. Should really have made them both together, but I'm a bit of a plank. Like, subscribe, thumbs up, all that shiznut. Ta-da!